Men from many different countries, even an Italian, Italy's strongest man is here, Nicholas Canby, all the way from well, you know, one of the uh, great places in, in Italy, New Jersey, um, but he is Italy's strongest man. Uh, so yeah, we've got lots of guys. So... The second of our athletes, ladies and gentlemen, is debuting here. And you're a strongest man and he's representing Italy. Raise it up for Nicholas Tommy. Pumped and ready, Nicholas Tommy, 34 years of age, 5'11 and 134 kilograms. Tommy, first time out, and he came to impress in Leeds. To follow in the footsteps of the great Bill Kazmaier and make his mark in Strongman. He is representing Italy, and his name is Nicholas Cambi. And as we know, he came up from the 105 class and is bolt up. And I think he's gonna do really well. He's got a fantastic attitude. Really excited here, Nicholas Cambi. There's the whistle from Darren Sadler and Nicholas is away and trying to keep those footsteps really measured, really controlled, Bill. And again, the biggest issue seems to be fighting for the balance. And these nickel stones just want to beat you, get up. You got to take the pain. Nicholas trying to keep his eyes forward, not down, but almost got tripped up by the stone there. Very, very difficult to do that. A countdown coming from Darren Sadler at the side of him there, you can see. He's up and away again, but like Frederick, hard to get control of them once you've gone that first time, Bill. But some really nice big strides towards the end. Camby's performance is respectable, no doubt. Remember, the weights of the storms different, 138 kilograms. The heavier stone, 114 kilograms. The lighter of the two. Here we go, our next two, making the way towards the vehicles. Now, interestingly, Bill, you called it in the nickel stones. It looked like there was some damage on the leg of Alexei Novikov. And literally seconds later, he did put the stones down, even though at that time he'd looked smooth. Do you think that's gonna be a real problem for him here with 450 kilograms on his shoulders? Knowing the kind of champion that he is and the warrior, iron warrior, he's not gonna let up. Alexei Novikov will go in lane number one. Let's uh, give him a little intro for the crowd as his stats come up on the big screen. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him. He hails from Ukraine. Raise it up for Alexei Navihar. 28 years of age. And his opponent in lane number two, he hails from and is representing Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicolas Cambi. will rise. Listen for the whistle from Darren Sadler. We are underway and Nicholas Camby off to a flyer. Really got away solidly there and he is edging in front and trying to hold off the recovery from Alexei Novikov, Bill. Oh, Nick, keep it up, get it up. Oh, tight on the line. Dead heat, it seems. Let's check in with the referees because we had a Pretty strange view of that one, and I do not know who got it. Let's look at the times respectively. Let's look at that on the replay. I actually missed that, but it must have been good because I heard you lot go, ooh. Now, when you hear that, ooh, one of two things have happened. Either you were sneaking out of a bedroom and you cracked your toe on the edge of a door. 
and it's unavoidable. Oh, you just saw a great finish. And I honestly couldn't tell who crossed first. Mag, you're usually the most level-headed bloke in the place. That was a pretty tight finish. Oh, well, can be guided by a whisker. Can be by a whisker. The Italian with the win, and Bill Kazmaier are going to catch up with him. You've got to love this guy. Nicholas was absolutely bristling backstage for this event. Couldn't wait to get out here and entertain you guys. And Bill Kazmaier is with him now. Nicholas, he had a great start with the, the stone, the nickel stones, and even better here. You know, you're a newcomer. How's that feel? You know what? I might be new, but I've been competing for 12 years, and it's a great place that my journey has brought me here at the biggest show, one of the best shows with the best crowds in all of the UK. So I'm pretty excited. Well, you came from the 105s. Now you're much heavier. You're going to keep packing on the weight? Oh, yes. I want another 10 kilos. Well, nice performance. Thank you, thank you Kaz. And thank you, Leeds. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Gamby. Awesome effort. Ladies and gentlemen, as Mag just gives a little bit of last minute instruction to our athletes, and you will see they're getting ready to try to pull the deadlift ladder. We have got two very focused athletes, the first of them debuting here in Leeds, and he is representing Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Cambi. And in lane number two, representing Scotland, raise it up for Lou, the hand of Soma. On 65 kilograms of him, focused and dedicated, here we go. There's the whistle from Darren Sadler, and we are on the way. Nicholas Camby lashes the first one to the roof, and it's straight into the second really enjoying this deadlift ladder but keep your eyes also on the man just behind him the highland oak a game of strategy as canby literally hitches that bar a little grip adjustment there to the double overhand but he gets so close and there's the down signal may want to leave it there that was hard right behind him is stoltman and he needs this lift luke the highland oak stoltman starts to pull and there's the lift there's the down signal he's improved his deadlift dramatically 60 seconds called there by Dave Warner as Luke, the Highland Oak Stoltman, straps himself onto the bar, willed on by his baby brother Bill, and this would be huge if he gets it. Oh, oh, right here, gotta stay with it. Just jumped all over him right at the knee. So super important that we get a look at those scores in a minute. And Nicholas, don't you run away, son. Hey, who wants to hear from Nicholas Camby? Come out here, Nicholas. We'll get out of the way of these guys packing up the deadlift ladder and catch a quick word with our ultra enthusiastic debutant, Nicholas Camby. Let him get out of that suit so he can breathe a little bit. 
But that is how you attack the Boohoo Man deadlift ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Camby. Boom, there it is. Nicholas, welcome to Giants Live, mate. You were absolutely aggressive at the start of that run, and you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Um, I've been training the mixed grip. I thought if I could get a fast four, that would be really good points. So I'm glad it wasn't for reps. I'm glad it wasn't for maxes, but this is a good event for me. Now, Nicholas, we spoke earlier on backstage, and we were talking about how this crowd may affect you. Some people, the nerves can be a problem. It doesn't appear that that's an issue for you whatsoever, mate. No, the cheering adds into the adrenaline that I feed into it. So thank you, crowd. Thank you, Leeds. Now, we are moving on now to the, look at that, eh? We are moving on now to the Viking Press. How does this event look for you? I'm a press specialist, so I hope to uh, come out with a win. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation, show your love for Nicholas Camby. Fantastic stuff. Super tight. Now, Nicholas Camby and Ivers Smaustelis will be looking to make an impact here. Ivers staying super, super relaxed throughout the evening. At the start of four events, he's literally nearly fallen asleep. <laughs> Almost the antichrist of Nicholas Camby. Let's raise it up and see if we can wake this guy up for the Viking press right now. Ladies and gentlemen from Latvia, Ivars Maxeli. <laughs> and on platform number two, he's revved and ready, looking forward to the Viking press, Nicholas Kambi. <laughs> Darren Sadler will start these guys off. Kambi hits that first repetition on the second built super smooth. Beautiful form. Short, powerful frame. Said he was a great presser and he is delivering him. Smoke Stell is trying to hang on to those coat tails and is right there with him. Neck and neck, great competition. And it looks like for the second time we cannot separate our athletes. I'll just double check with our referees that it is a pair of 13s. Nicholas Camby and Ivor Smokstellis both record a total of 13 repetitions. Look at that again on the overhead. Yeah, here we go. You can see that acceleration out of the gates from Nicholas Camby. He was off so quick. I was smart Stellis, a little slower early, but around the middle ground, he was right there on his heels. And they finished on 13. Gotta be happy with that. I'm pretty sure the Highland Oak was also on 13. And I think Cordy Arcot was 12. So if you thought it was tight at the top earlier, that is not going to change after the Viking press. Absolutely nip and tuck in Europe's strongest man, Paul Dwyer. And Frederick Johansson will go next. Sweden and Ireland. He's already there. As handsome Pablo Coriaca strides out now. The man who entered tonight as Europe's strongest man, is it possible that he could leave? I mean, retain the title, big ask. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the reigning Europe's strongest man. He hails from and is representing Ukraine. 6'4", 135, 28 years of age, raising up a Pablo. Adelaide 
number two, ladies and gentlemen, welcome this man. He hails from and is representing Italy. <sighs> Nicholas Cambi! Huge finish required. Now, for Cambi, and he could secure a podium place. Here we go. Kuriaka. The taller athlete, much ease. Look at that from Camby. I said, literally, press that thing above his head. Kuriaka tearing this thing to pieces, and he's already on the fourth stone. And the Ukrainian nails that one solidly. Will try to finish strong on the fifth, but Shane Flowers' time is not going to be in jeopardy. But it's there. All five. Kuriaka. Nicholas Cambi needs your support for this last stone, ladies and gentlemen. Pablo Coriaca and Nicholas Cambi. But I'll tell you what, guys at different ends of the spectrum in terms of their positioning here when they came into tonight's event, I was speaking to Nicholas backstage. He's such a humble, nice guy. Almost the mirror of the man who is just leaving the arena, Pablo Coriaca. Both extremely humble individuals. Different fortunes tonight. Probably a dream finish for Nicholas. And that five foot 11 frame, not conducive to the first stone. He's just come off the Viking press and he had to start this event with another press. And you can see how oh, he's having to lift every single stone there. Height really does make a difference. But what a debut. Thank you. Freddie Johansson, his knee is injured, but not terribly so. Gavin Bilton promises he'll be in shape very soon for Worlds. Uh, Cordy Acker, Heinler, there we are, in seventh, equal with O'Dwyer. Not there night tonight. Nicholas Camby, a new star on the international scene, Italy in sixth. Shane Flowers always performs here at Europe's in fifth. Andre Foytu, the 22 year old, a little work on his stones, and he'd be Europe's strongest man. Watch out for him next year. You've seen a new star. Ladies and gentlemen, Please, can you put your hand